Today we'll show you what's inside of an automatic transmission shifter and how it works. Now the purpose of the automatic transmission shifter is to select the correct gear, obviously, but it's also got some built-in safety features that prevent it from going into the wrong gear at the wrong time. Now the main safety feature is a park lockout, which prevents the vehicle from being shifted out of park until you put your foot on the brake. That way the car can just roll away and hit a chicken crossing the road. Once you're into reverse, you can freely move between neutral and drive, as well as any of the manual gears in the sport mode. Alright, great, my shifter's jammed. Anyways, I'm going to take off this console cluster to see what's going on inside of here. To get a better look at the shifter, I'm going to remove the center console. Now there's four 10 millimeter bolts that hold the shifter link in, and then I'm just going to pick up the shifter. So here we have the entire shifter assembly removed from the vehicle here. Now if we take a look at some of the main components, we have this cable over here that goes to the ignition cylinder to lock out the key. On the side here we have the shift lock solenoid and its relay. At the top here of course we have the rod that connects to your shift knob and that pivots about this point over here to change gears and move this control rod which is attached to the transmission directly below this boot over here because this is a rear wheel drive vehicle. And now if we flip this over here you can see we have the sport mode selection over here and we've got these two limit switches here that tell the computer to either shift up or shift down depending on the driver's command. Now all the limit switches, relays and solenoids are controlled through the ECU through this connector over here. There's no onboard computer. Now I'm going to start disassembly by removing this control rod where it attaches to the shift lever over here. You can see it's got a little slot in here for adjustment and then I'll just remove this over here and then I'll just remove this boot which protects the outside elements from coming into the cabin. Now the purpose of the automatic transmission is of course to select the gear that you want to be in but it's also there to prevent the transmission from damage. So for example if you were in drive and you accidentally popped it into reverse well you actually have to push this plunger down purposely to put it into reverse it also is there to prevent the vehicle from rolling away so in case you've left it in gear it's going to prevent your key from being removed through this little key interlock here now the key lock system interfaces through this cable that runs down to this control rod over here to the shift lock solenoid mechanism over here now because my solenoid is not connected I'm actually going to cheat here and use the emergency release to release the shifter for demonstration purposes in the park position this is in its unlocked state as I move the control rod down you'll see that it actually moves this little arm over here which pushes back on this rod which actually locks the key into place when I move it out of park. So I'm actually going to remove this cable here for the key. I'm also going to remove this little screw in here that holds this relay on. Now this shift lock relay is responsible for energizing this coil when there's ignition power and when the brake is depressed. Now of course if you don't have power and your battery is dead you can use this override over here to pop it out of gear. Now this mechanism is pretty intricate. We have this arm in front here that locks out the key that we mentioned earlier but in and behind it we have this little cam over here and when I push the button on the shifter you can see that it actually locks on that cam over there and doesn't allow me to shift. However, when this solenoid here energizes, it's actually going to suck this little rod inward, which is going to pull this little cam inward like this, and that's going to allow this cross rod to push down out of this little detent over here and shift out of park. Now, of course, if I want to shift back into park, I have to push the shifter button back down, which is going to push this cross rod down like this, and then shift it into park and then it'll pick it back up and lock it in place. Now in and behind all of this, we have the emergency release rod, which pushes down on the back side of the cam inside of there, and that's going to turn the cam out this way, allowing you to shift out of park in case the solenoid is dead. Now if I unplug the relay from the harness here, you can see this just looks like any other relay that you'll find under the hood of your car, but it actually has this like tar heat shielding on it. Anyway, if you remove the insulation, you actually can see the inside of the coil inside of there. So next up, I'm going to remove all the screws that hold this solenoid onto the body of the shifter here. On the opposite side of the shifter solenoid, we have the limit switch here that tells the vehicle it's in park. So you can see as I shift over here into park, it actually will activate that limit switch through this little plastic piece here that's connected to the main control rod. And now we'll just remove this from the assembly. And you can see on the back side here where that limit switch is. Now on the back side of the shifter, on the control rod, we have this little guide over here that slips into this plastic guide over here and that guides it from park to reverse to neutral to drive. However, when you reach drive, you actually can tap the shifter over and this guide is going to move over on this side of the track over here and then you can tap it up and down to shift gears and then tap it back over when you're done. Now in order for the computer to know if the transmission is supposed to be in sport mode, we follow these lines down around here. We have a little limit switch inside of here that activates when the shifter is moved over to the different position. Now once you're actually in that sport mode, we have two other limit switches that tell the computer to either shift up or shift down depending on the position of the shifter and the shifter kind of self-centers itself. So I'm just going to go ahead and remove this limit switch over here. 
Now while we have the main control rod at the top here with the shift knob, we've also got this piece which is actually a separated piece and that allows the shifter itself to move back and forth without bothering this piece over here that goes to the transmission. But you also got to make sure that it's lined up over here perfectly so you can shift back into drive so now there's a direct relationship between the two. So with all the electronics out of the way it's easy to see how this cross rod here prevents misshifts. So you got to press the button in order to get it out of park and into reverse. And then from reverse you can just pop it into neutral and then drive from drive to neutral but then you got to press the button once again to get it back into reverse and then once more to get it into park. I squeeze my finger over here. There's actually a little lock washer here that holds the pivot for the main arm over here. I'm going to remove this little washer. And just remove the vice grip. And there's the center pivot bolt. Now the shifter has a secondary pivot point over here for this little guide that comes down to shift it over into the sport mode. It's got a 10 millimeter nut there I'm going to remove. And just remove this little pivot bolt over here. It seems like this cross over here is actually preventing the whole unit from coming out. So I'm just going to see if I can hit it out with a hammer. And here's the cross brace. And with that out of the way, I can remove the shifter controller. Here we have the piece that attaches to the transmission. Here we have the actual pivot point over here. And there is the limit switch for the sport mode over there. And then over here we have the actual control rod that attaches to the shifter knob. And all of these parts are full of lubricating grease. So I'm just going to come in with a little bit of brake cleaner over here. And I'm just going to use my brother's old underwear that I found on the clothesline. Finders keepers. And I'm just going to wipe that down to make it nice and clean. Can you stop using brother's underwear in your video, man? So we got this little guide in here that's held on by these three screws. I'm just going to remove that. And then just pull out that guide. And just use the underwear again to wipe that down because it's just full of grease. So here we've got the mechanical bits over here. We've got like a double joint action over here. So the shifter can move slightly from side to side and one from back and forth. We've got this little guide over here that has a little ball on the end that glides on this little plastic slider from park, reverse to neutral and drive. When you shift it into sport mode, the shifter slightly moves over this way, which moves the guide over this way, and then it can slightly move up and down to change gears. So here we've got the little pivot points on either side. It's got these lock washers on there. We got a little return spring over here. Remove the little arm for the key lock. And here's a closer look at the emergency override and the little cam over here that moves back when the solenoid activates. If I remove the solenoid over here from the assembly, you can see this just sucks it in and out like that. And we have this little cam over here, and of course the little emergency pusher. Now if I remove the cover from the solenoid, you see we've got a core over here, we've got a little bit of metal on the end here, and when this energizes, it's actually going to suck this in, which pulls the cam back. The rest of the housing is just one big injection molded piece that holds everything together. So the next time you jump into your automatic transmission car and shift your gears, think of all these components that go into keeping your transmission safe and your car from rolling away. Make sure you follow me on Instagram for more behind the scenes footage and subscribe for more videos just like this one.